Today we're going to talk quickly about copying and pasting bulk answers into a Google Form. So we have uh, customers who are users of our payable Google Forms add-on, and a lot of the time they ask us, how do I do large quantity questions? Um, and so one that we get is, uh, say there's a school and they're having a fundraiser and they're selling bags of mulch. This happens more than you would expect. Uh, and they want to figure out how can I list out all of my prices um, I, when I ask somebody how many bags of mulch they would like, how do we get that in a drop down, for example, where the price is listed with each so that the payable forms add on picks it up correctly and everything works. So the only way to do that is to list out uh, each bag one at a time. So how many bags would you like? One bag, eight ninety nine. two bags, six ninety nine. And the user is sitting here kind of copying and pasting it and going, okay, well, three bags and you know they're updating these manually and it can be a bit of a pain. So I wanted to show you a shortcut using Google Sheets um, for how to set it up so you can copy and paste larger quantities in easily. So over here I have a Google Sheet that I created. And so what I did is I started over here um, and what we can do is we can kind of clear this out for a second. And so what I did is I started over here with just a simple row bag is the the label like one bag or sometimes you go quantity one or you know shirts or whatever it is that you might be selling when there's more than one it becomes bags and so generally that's the label that we had set up and you can drag it down to copy it this here is the quantity and so what we're going to do is um, equal the row above plus one and that will just increment our uh, quantity and you can drag that down and then that'll give you quantities so in this demo, we're going to try to do 25. So let's go all the way down here and let's drag this all the way down here to 25. Oh, one more. Let's drag that down and drag that down. Okay, so now we've got 25. The next one is the price. How much is one bag of this going to cost? Uh, sure, you could build in different tiers if you want, but what we're going to do is we're going to say $8. We, I think we, our form said they were going to, let's say they're $8.50 each. And so what we did is 8.5 times the quantity here. And so we just do that like that. And we're gonna drag this all the way down to the bottom, okay. The next thing we need to do is we can't copy and paste three columns into Google uh, Forms. We, don't, we ha have to have it in one column like this. So what we did here is we used the concatenate function. And so you can see what I'm doing is I'm saying equals concatenate, and that says essentially glue together the following things. And so I'm gluing together the quantity row, so B2, followed by comma, a space, comma, the label, which is bag, so it's over here, uh, A2, uh, a space, a dash, a money sign, and then I'm putting fixed C2 uh, with two decimal places. And so that's just center, generally saying, hey, I want to use my money row fixed at two decimal places and then go. And so what that does when you run something like that is it creates this label here, one bag dash 850. So as I drag this down to the bottom, what it's gonna do is go two bags, three bags, 12 bags, 25 bags, boom, just like that. So instead of me typing this out and potentially having risks for errors, I could do something like this. And now I can hold shift and click here and what I have is I'm gonna go, um, if you're on a Mac, Apple C or Control C, if you're on a, on a PC, I'm gonna copy this, so copy. Uh, and then I'm gonna go over to my Google Forms and I'm gonna go up here to the first answer. I'm actually gonna remove this one, remove this one, and I'm gonna put my cursor in here, select the whole thing and go Control V, I'm gonna paste. And so you can see uh, Google Forms is smart enough to automatically convert this into answers. You have 25 answers with 25 items. Uh, and boom, just like that, I have everything kind of filled out, which is really quite nice. So now when I preview this, it's gonna say how, uh, how many, where was the word? How many mulch bags would you like? And you can see here, there's a nice list of 25 and you can pick the right quantity. So I hope that's helpful um, for you when you're getting set up. And that way, the other thing that you can do too is you can duplicate questions so I can copy this. Uh, and you, you, we can do another one quickly over here, like how many um, uh, like uh, wood chips, chip uh, bags would you like? Or even uh, you know how, something like that. I can quickly go back over here 
and if wood chips are going to be cheaper i can update this function to let's say wood chips are five dollars and ten cents each and i can drag this down here like that and i can collect my copy and i can go back into my wood chip area and i can paste and that selected them all so it doubled it let me uh clear these out clear 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 I wonder if there is a bulk remove, but anyways, sorry, it uh, copied, it at inserted them as opposed to replacing them. So let's oop, delete, okay, and paste, and there we go. So now we have 25 bags of wood chips. So I hope that helps uh, people who are trying to create bulk um, question answers in Google Forms, and that's how you set it up using Google Sheets. So feel free to kind of take a look at this and how I set up that function, but really it's just concatenating my piece and being able to copy and paste them out of a single column into your Google form. Okay, all the best. Cheers.